on the stream today. First of all, I obviously want to emphasize and promote that tomorrow, my second stream will be the return of Hate Live. It's going to be a very special episode because we have not done one in a while. The last one we did was the pre-house hunting journey in Seattle, right? This one is going to basically be the cumulative update video. We're going to, number one, we're going to talk about what I've been up to recently, what I'll be up to soon, all the new games coming out next week. Number two, we're going to be talking about what's going on in regards to gaming news, because there is some news that's gone on in the past couple of weeks. And then we're going to talk about a cumulative house hunting update so everyone knows exactly what's going on. I've, I've, I've given you guys daily the, in, the new info, but the bottom line is every day there's been new info. And unless you've watched every single pre-stream, you probably are not up to date on what's going on with house hunting. In fact, even today there were more updates, but I'm just going to save them for tomorrow for Hate Live. So anyone who's interested in the move, in the fact that I'll be leaving Connecticut soon... Uh, watch Hate Live tomorrow night for your cumulative update. There's also going to be a segment, the Back in the Day segment will be a tribute to uh, a really close friend of mine from back when I was in high school who passed away. I'll kind of give you guys the full up, the full story then, the background. Uh, and uh, I have some pictures to show, some pictures to share with you guys. And that'll be good because... These are pictures that only I have right now. No one else has them. And uh, what I'll do is, per the episode, I'll see maybe if I can upload them to Google Images or, I don't know, Facebook. I'm not sure exactly where the best place is to upload these. But I'd like to get these photos on the internet because they're the only photos of him, really, that many people have. You know, years have passed and things have kind of gone away to the point where a lot of people I searched on the internet for him, I couldn't even find any pictures of them. So I want to get them up there. Okay? So the back of the day segment is going to be about me growing up with fighting games, my friend, a tribute to him, and uh, it should be a good one. It's going to be a lot of, as people like to say, they will be full of feels, but being that very soon, I'm going to be moving out of Connecticut and moving on with my life to the next chapter of my life. I say this is something that I need to do before I leave. This is something that I want to do before I leave because, uh, you know... I miss him. I miss my friend, and I, uh, who knows what would have happened with my life if he had still been alive. You know, things that happen in life that steer you in different directions, and this is certainly one of them. So, that's going to be tomorrow on Hate Live. <clears throat> and a lot of idiots, of course, oh my god, Phil should disable all ads on all videos where he ever mentions his friend. You know what? Shut the fuck up. Seriously. Like, that's what this is about, right? Because that's why I'm doing it. You know what? Shut the fuck up. And I'll say this to anyone. Anyone who's going to accuse me of shit like that. That I'm doing this to make money. I will come find you in real life. And I will beat the shit out of you. Because that's how serious I am about it. You know? You're going to accuse me of shit like that. Grow the fuck up. No, I'm not going to disable ads. You want to know why? Because you can't. Anyone who's under one of these partnerships, if you disable ads on the video, they get automatically enabled after about a week anyway. It's always been like that. People are so dumb, you know? Oh, he's going to try to make a buck on the death of his friend. Shut the fuck up. Just because I'm doing a show that I normally do, that I normally monetize, and I'm going to have a segment that's a tribute to my friend, you're going to tell me I can't fucking monetize? Go, go to hell. Seriously. And that's the first time I've ever said something like that publicly but you know what if you're that evil seriously that you're gonna say shit like that come see me and we'll see how quickly i take care of it how about that unbelievable unfucking believable that people would accuse people of shit like that it's unfucking real you know This actually it reminds me because there was a uh, I, I talked about this earlier. There was a guy who I guess was was disgruntled with Machinima earlier this year because of some stuff that was going on uh, with Machinima contractually and the fact that they weren't making everyone a managed partner. And this particular guy was already disgruntled with them, and uh, he had a video that he uploaded and he disabled ads, and within a week ads were enabled on it automatically. And he got all angry about it. I was like, dude. 
That's not, you know, it's not Machinima actively doing it. Like, that's what happens with partnership companies. You can't actually have videos permanently without ads. It's kind of a thing. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. There's some videos that I upload and I forget to enable ads. And within a week or so, the ads are automatically enabled anyway. But anyway, I digress, you know. I let you, you know you know that no matter what I do and no matter what I say, there's this just insanely negative group of, of evil fucking people who are going to try to make it sound like I'm the villain. Yes, because I finally am, you know, maturing and growing up and realizing that uh, I need to stop being a baby about my friend's death and I, I want to publicly talk about it and I want to share photos of him that only I have. I am evil because I'm gonna because there's gonna be ads on the video. Fuck yourself.